Hello dear friends, this is the first video with the footage from the 2019 spring expedition to Italy in the region of uh, ancient Etruria. So there is really tons of very nice footage, there will be many episodes in this playlist. However, their format will be quite different than the previous uh, New World Historic videos. Different in the sense that uh, there will be almost no explanation. It will be mostly footage, raw footage as such. And uh, if you wish to know where are these ruins or what are they all about, because the via covers these uh, deep cut uh, channels or roads are quite spectacular. Then you can see the videos of the previous expeditions to the same region, and over there everything is explained. You can find the links to these playlists in the description of this video. And uh, if you are interested in uh, depth, in the rock cut ruins and the via covers, then uh, you may consider also watching the videos of the Spain expedition and uh, the expedition to Turkey. Because although those are different regions, all the ruins across Europe and Asia were left by a single civilization and uh, they should be viewed in their entirety to get the big picture. I forgot to mention Malta as well. Over there we have uh, the same rock cut ruins along with the uh, rock cut via covers. And by the way, I just uh, published a video sharing my thoughts on the uh, Corona Madness. It is on another uh, New Art channel. You may follow the link in the description and if you wish you may subscribe to that channel or I rarely post anything over there, however, nowadays the channels of truth vanish rather quickly. So, if one fine day this channel disappears, the other one may be still active. And something else will be very much different about the videos about this uh, expedition and that is uh, that the material, the video footage will be shuffled, it will not be systematic as usual in the New Earth videos and uh, you will see sites of completely different type and style appearing uh, randomly throughout the episodes. I decided to keep it that way uh, because that's how it was actually when we were there. And I hope that this uh, colorful mixture will help you experience the Etrurian landscape the way we experienced it. It doesn't press. give any. <coughs> doesn't give any sounds. Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally pressed the video. Hold on, hold on. I'll do the no problem. <laughs> oh no! Now it's looking at me. There are many fields in Italy with uh, tracks exactly like uh, those of Malta. Also, there will be many new sites. It won't be just uh, the old sites that you have seen in the footage of the previous expedition. There is a lot more new. I think there is no point to separate uh, 
sites which will be new for the newer audience and sites which have been featured in the previous videos just because the older footage uh, was so poor that uh, almost everything will look new to you. So very often people try to send messages uh, asking which is uh, this or that given site found uh, in this or that video. The thing is that uh, most of these locations don't even have a name, as you can see they are not tourist spots, there is no crowd at all, actually they were found, uh, rediscovered for us by Simon or Simone, as they say in uh, Italy. So he found them using uh, older history books or simply walking around because uh, they are abundant in the area where he lives. Some of the bigger sites do have official names, but that would be like an entire rocket town and only 5% of it would be like uh, touristically marked and the rest will spread uh, around for kilometers. And by the way, often, as in this case, you will just see overgrown walls on the side. All this is a uh, rock cut with proper visible tool marks on it. Although it is... Uh, Quite covered by vegetation, these are proper via covers. This is again a typical example of extension. It wasn't deep enough. I would say at least three generations here. If not four actually. One, two, three, four I see. Do you see them? On this side? So speaking about uh, places uh, to visit during expeditions, it seems as usual the destiny arranged everything perfectly and I managed to visit the main spots I had in mind already uh, before the new health passport becomes a reality and a requirement for international travel. The passport will provide, quote, a flow of secure information, of testing and vaccination information. So I'm afraid I may skip that fantastic offer, although I think it will be very attractive, maybe like um, five for the price of one, in case some of uh, the brain cells uh, survive the first shot, you know. So it takes time before uh, this type of things are implemented on a world scale. So maybe next spring, hopefully, I may get a chance for 
Italian Sardinian gain and I said that uh, I visited most of the places which I think were important but not all I really wanted uh, to do the Middle East as well places like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah if you remember the old videos where the sulfur balls are still visible and everything around is melted and looks like uh, giant palaces and buildings are all melted down and there are many other megaliths and very interesting uh, spots in that region and I was really hoping uh, to be able to film them because um, if the prophecies, the biblical and many others, come true, that entire region will be so utterly destroyed that it will be like leveled. All those sites will be either pulverized or buried when the rest is uh, pulverized by the modern weapons. So let's see, if opportunity arises, I uh, will definitely go to that region before everything turns into chaos because uh, those sites have received very very little attention from the alternative uh, history community.